Welcome back to City Desk. In an effort to reduce emissions and smog, the province of Ontario is now elect allowing electric bikes on city streets. They're basically bicycles equipped with an electric motor and battery pack. Top speed of electric bikes uh, under the power of the motor, about 32 kilometers an hour. They weren't allowed on Ontario streets until early this month when the province announced a three-year pilot project permitting them on the road. To find out more about e-bikes, City Desk spoke to Jürgen Weichert. He's spokesperson for the Electric Vehicle Council of Ottawa. Jürgen, uh, e-bikes uh, now permitted in Ontario under a pilot project. What was the concern about them being on the road before uh, before this decision? Well, we're really not quite sure. I mean, bicycles have been riding on the streets of Ontario for 100 years, and this is no more than a bicycle. So. Uh, when the federal legislation came in in 2001, British Columbia right away knew this is a good thing. Quebec looked at those and said, this is clean transportation, that's a good thing. Ontario government, maybe they're a little bit more um, cautious and they wanted to do a pilot project. So about three years ago, we uh, started lobbying them as uh, the Electric Vehicle Council of Ottawa. And we said, hey guys, we want to see these things on the road. So we started a very aggressive letter writing campaign and um, contacted our MPPs. And eventually they invite us down to uh, consult with them and um, help them figure out how to bring these electric bikes onto the roads. How, how do these, these bikes differ from a, a regular bicycle? Well, the difference is you have a small electric motor on there. They ride like bicycles, they handle like bicycles, safety-wise and rule-wise, everything's the same. They've got a small electric assist on there, which means that if you uh, come up to some hills or you have a longer distance that you might otherwise not cover, the electric assist is there to, to take up the slack to help you up the hills, to get you to work on a day where you might otherwise not ride to work because you, you, you might be getting too hot and sweaty, don't have showers at work. Now you can ride on a lot of days where you might otherwise not ride. Who else is this uh, electric bike sort of targeted to? It's really for anybody. Anybody who'd like to ride but doesn't. And also for a lot of existing cyclists. And there's a lot of guys out there and say, I don't need electric assist. That's fine. They're fit, they're healthy, they're strong, they want to get a good workout, that's fine. But even those people are probably taking their cars on a lot of days when they could be riding for various reasons. And the um, electric assist will make a difference to them as well as to people who'd like to ride and don't have the confidence right now that they can make it 5, 10, 15, 20 kilometers to work or up that one hill that could make a difference to them riding or not riding. I, I was going to say it almost defeats the purpose of, of having a bicycle for exercise if you put an electric motor on it. I've heard that argument uh, a lot and uh, the people who I know who have electric bikes including myself have found you end up riding more frequently because you've got the electric assist. Because of that you have more opportunities to exercise and you're getting a lot more overall riding time and face it, you only need to use the electric assist when you want to or when you need it. You can get as much exercise as you want on an electric bike anytime. Just turn off the motor and use it only for your hills. What, uh, what regulations do they fall under the regulations for bicyclists or cyclists or, or for motor vehicles with having an, a motor on this? Well, every, every bicycle is a vehicle on the road. Every bicycle and cyclist should be following exactly the same rules as for motor vehicles anyways. Uh, shy of a couple, a couple of exceptions. It's essentially like any other vehicle on the road. The regulations for the power assist bikes are simply that um, they have to meet the federal definition, which is no more than 500 watts, and they're not allowed to you know, be assisted faster than 32 kilometers an hour, which is 20 miles an hour. That's the speed of a, a fit cyclist. And uh, besides that, under the new pilot project, you need to be 16 years of age, and you need to be wearing a helmet while you're riding which is a good measure sometimes. What, what, uh, what's the cost on these, uh, these type of cycles? Uh, you, can, you can get an electric bike complete for uh, as low as $800, and then like cars, airplanes, and other bicycles, the price goes up from there. Uh, a decent one, $1,200 to $1,500. Top of the line, $2,000 to $3,000 gives you really the best. And you know, even at that price, for the price of operating one car, you know, your second vehicle for one year, you could buy two or three electric bikes every single year. In, ter in terms of uh, sort of the business angle of it, a uh, lot of bike couriers in Ottawa, is this, uh, is this an option for them? It's an option for them. I think most of them are, uh, are uh, um, interested in a very light, fast bike. A lot of them ride fixed gear. And uh, I, th I think some couriers might be encouraged by an electric assist, uh, but they're probably few. These guys are pretty, pretty fit and tight and they're, and they're riding hard every day. So some of them could try it. But it's, it's more for like general people like you and me. 
What uh, what will uh, you you take away from this three-year pilot project to say you know this was a su this was a success? Um, what's going to make us a su success is that we're going to get more bikes on the streets. We're going to have a kinder, gentler society when there are more cyclists out there, slower speeds, and uh, as we get more people cycling and more people leaving their cars at home. Uh, we're hoping that you know we're going to clear the air also. Fewer smog days, less greenhouse gases and so on. All right. Jurgen Weikert, I want to thank you for your time today. Thank you. Jurgen Weikert is a member of the Electric Vehicle Council of Ottawa. Coming up after the break, Ottawa has a new radio station.